So Ixico provides innovative technologies to those involved in researching, diagnosing and treating serious conditions, and especially dementia, which is the company's main clinical focus. Ixico was founded uh, nearly 10 years ago. Um, it took uh, technology from the universities in London and it has translated it into tools to support decision making in clinical trials. That's tools for image acquisition, image analysis and image management to support decision making in the, the drug development program. We've won business from seven of the top 15 pharmaceutical companies uh, as we've grown our revenue over the last few years and we've been involved in you know, several very high profile uh, clinical trials of new potential treatments for serious diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. So dementia is one of the most important crises facing society. It's estimated that it already costs around 1% of GDP globally to manage uh, and that the 35 or so million sufferers around the world at the moment is going to perhaps double in the next 20 years. So a consequence of that is that uh, for society to be able to manage the, the, the cost of dementia, we've got to be better at managing individual patients and putting on the best possible treatment and support. There is strong evidence, despite you know, uh, myths to the contrary, there's strong evidence that getting people on the right treatment and support does increase their quality of life. It enables them to live longer in their own home. It enables them to live better with their symptoms and transition, if they need to, into a care home later in, in a way which is less disruptive and less of a crisis for them and their families. Um, and so by diagnosing and managing patients who have dementia, you can reduce society's costs, uh, both directly in financial terms, but also in terms of the, the anguish, in terms of the pain that this disease causes to families and to sufferers. So we believe that actually diagnosing people with dementia is the first step to managing them and that our approach is to bring together technologies, digital technologies, to help to diagnose and then to link that directly into managing care, putting people onto the right sort of treatments and making available to them the right sort of supports. So Ixico was founded by four professors from colleges of the University of London with many, many years of experience in medical imaging and the application of medical imaging in a variety of disease areas. And we continue to have very strong links with those founders and the universities which they are, are based at. And, and that gives us ongoing access to expertise, potentially new technologies that kind of refresh Ixico's offering uh, in an important way as far as our customers are concerned. So Ixico works in three interlinked areas, which we call the three pillars of Ixico. The first is clinical trials. This is where we currently get the majority of our revenue. We're working with seven of the top 15 global pharmaceutical companies to help them test the safety and efficacy of their, their drugs. And we collect data from more than 400 hospitals around the world as part of that process. The second pillar is experimental medicine. That's where we work in a more uh, alliance and collaborative and strategic way with pharmaceutical companies and research organizations, developing new tools to use in clinical trials, and also potentially tools that can be used to stratify patients for diagnosis. The third pillar is diagnosis, and that's where we are taking our technology and taking it to market to support diagnosis of patients in a clinical setting, particularly for dementia. So a core part of Ixico's business strategy is that those three pillars are very interlinked. So the clinical trials market is somewhere where we can approve the technology that we can use in the other segments. Similarly, the experimental medicine pillar is one where we can develop new products, both for the clinical trials and the disease diagnostics pillar. And furthermore, what we do in the disease diagnostics pillar can influence the way clinical trials are done because ultimately the way that you design a clinical trial also depends on the diagnostic tests that are available once a drug is approved. So 
So because of the, you know, the, the cost now and the increasing cost of dealing with dementia, it's very high on the political profile of, of, of many nations. Our, our own country here, the Prime Minister David Cameron, has a dementia challenge. He wants to make the UK a leading dementia nation. And he's brought together a group of experts to try and help in that quest. And, and I've been invited to join the Research Champion Group working with uh, the Prime Minister's team in trying to help make the UK a very leading dementia nation. And of course, that's a, a great place for a company to be because in a country which is aspiring to be leading the world, that enables us to also develop the products and evaluate them in the NHS and then export them around the world as products which are shown to be leading and beneficial to patients. So by getting a listing on AIM, what we're able to do is to access uh, funds. So we, we got uh, funds through reversing into the fighter farm shell to use the cash that was in that shell, plus potentially access future cash through AIM to enable us to be much more ambitious. We've been a business which has grown revenue by selling our services to the pharmaceutical industry. The diagnostic market globally requires deeper pockets, more resources, and also opportunities for new sorts of partnerships and collaboration with, with other organisations, with other companies. And being a public company, having our AIM listing, we believe it's going to enable us to move faster and more effectively into that global market and have a higher chance of, of really great commercial success. So Ixico's vision is to build on our credibility internationally in order to position ourselves as a brain health company uh, accessing the global market for dementia diagnostics. Dementia is a disease now rather like cancer was in the 1970s, a disease where um, it was won by providing more tools to diagnose and to realise that it's actually a whole lot of different conditions, that the cause can be multiple types of disease. And that led to people developing new diagnostic tests, new treatment tools, which could enable much better outcomes for patients. So just as with cancer, the treatment has dramatically improved. So we believe that the treatment of people with dementia can also improve in a, in a parallel way, that by having better diagnosis, by understanding the cause of people's dementia symptoms, we can match them into the sort of drug treatment and non-drug treatments that will enable them to have better outcomes, to live better with their symptoms, and to have reduced cost to society overall from dementia.